All right, boys and girls, I got a real serious question for you. What do you realistically expect to get from a $300 smartphone? Well, OnePlus would like to open up that debate with the brand new N30. Nord 30? Yeah, is the new budget almost flagship phone. But let's just be clear about this, man. This is not a flagship phone, especially from OnePlus because their flagship phone is the OnePlus 11 and it is a flagship in every way possible. But we ain't talking about this phone today. I just brought it here to kind of contrast the two because we have the new OnePlus flagship of 2023 and then we have the new OnePlus N30, which is their, but we'll say the word budget, but it has some flagship qualities. But then again, what do you expect from a budget phone? Like, are you really expecting flagship quality stuff all the time with all the things? We're talking about spending $299 here. So what are they really gonna give you for that low, low price? Before I get into that, I just have to say that a lot of times when I see phone reviews, I see them from people who are always using a flagship phone, myself included. I, I typically always use a flagship phone. So when we look at these budget model phones, we kind of look at them with a skewed lens because we're so used to holding a flagship phone. We're so used to the operating, the smoothness and the, the brightness of the screen, the camera arrays of the flagship phones. So when we have to kind of take a few steps back and go to a budget model, I think sometimes people can be overcritical and expect a little bit too much, especially for the price that they're asking on what they would consider a budget phone. So I'm definitely gonna keep this in mind as we talk about this new OnePlus N30. And with that being said, let's get into that battery because that is my favorite feature from OnePlus. The super boot charging is just incredible. Never before, never before I had the OnePlus 11 in my hand that I experienced charging that fast from like 15% or even zero to a hundred. The battery life is super strong, like a day and some change on like of, of hard usage on a OnePlus 11. You get about a day, like a full fledged day with this phone. I don't think the battery management is as good as it is on the OnePlus 11, but you're still getting a solid day worth of usage. And if you end up going hardcore, on your N30, then you just plug it into the charger that's included in the box. You get a super boot charger in the box with the cable and everything. Like I'm, I'm emphasizing that because you don't get that with a lot of phones these days. They give you the charging brick, the cable, and it will charge from one to 80% in about 30 minutes. And it's got the same battery health engine found in the OnePlus 11 that prevents overcharging and premature aging of the battery. But I gotta tell you, there is no wireless charging and that's okay with me because I will not be using that best anyway. Let's just be honest, folks. Even the fast wireless charging is slow, especially when you compare it to the charging where it gets you from one to 80% in under 30 minutes. Just, yeah, just plug it in, man. You'll be just fine. When it comes to performance, you're actually getting plenty, man. It's got the Snapdragon 695G chipset and eight gigs of RAM. So you got plenty of power and performance there. I haven't had this thing lag up uh, in the course of the time I've been using it, which has actually been about three days. So I've had enough time to actually kind of get used to the phone because, you know, I jumped back and forth between a Samsung and a OnePlus, but I haven't noticed any glitches in the performance as I've been using it during my normal social media emails and stuff like that. The N30 hops right out of the box with Oxygen 13 point one, which is great because you're getting the latest and greatest software from the company. But as I talk about the latest and greatest stuff, let's back up a taste and go back in time to when companies used to offer one of these bad boys. You see it, you see it. That is a micro SD card slot for up to one terabyte of expansion. They come on, man. This is one of those things that like the hardcore tech people have really missed in smartphones. Like you kind of almost, did you ever have it with an iPhone? But this isn't a part of that conversation anyway, since we're talking about Android, but even the flagship or the biggest companies on the Android side of things do not offer expandable storage anymore. OnePlus is holding it down with that one terabyte expandable storage. And I wanna show you something else from the olden days. Yeah, you see it. I know you see it, man, it's right there. That, my friend, is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Whoo, you audiophiles, man, that like to plug in your headphones is there for you. Like, yeah, they, they managed to do that. They have a 5,000 milliamp battery in here, so it's taking up quite a bit of space, right? They give you expandable storage, okay? So yeah, you can go up to a terabyte so you can hoard all of your, your movies and your, and your MP3 files and stuff like that, your pictures and all your little you know stuff that you got on your phone. And then they managed to cram a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack in here just to satisfy you people who complain about everything. 
Now I didn't wipe this thing off on purpose. I just pulled it out of my pocket from my daily usage just so you can see all of my fingerprints, man. I use coconut oil from my skin, man. It's, you know what I'm saying? That's how I keep all nice and chocolatey and smooth. I use coconut oil. So every once in a while, my hands get a little slippery. So then, then I pick up my phone, start using it and stuff, and that stuff ends up on my phone. So people complain about, you know, grease magnet, uh, magnets, fingerprint magnets, and stuff like that. This is no exception to the rule, but hey, at the end of the day, it is still a beautiful phone. Even with all my smudges on it, you can see that grayish green colorway. This is the only one they're offering, but I like the way they also displayed the cameras. They are massive. These things are stinking massive. And that's because you got a 108 megapixel system here. They got this nine in one pixel binding stuff for brighter, cleaner, and more natural photos. They also upgraded the portrait mode with a two megapixel depth assist. But let's Let's move away from the specky side of things because people who buy this type of phone at this price are not really like pixel peepers or spec junkies. These people want a really good quality phone that's going to be reliable, perform when they need it to perform, do their social media, maybe listen to some tunes and take a few photos or a couple of videos. So the max they're giving you here is 1080p. So let's step outside and see what that's like. Now I'm recording at 1080p on the rear facing cameras just to show you a little bit of sample footage here. Uh, most people do not walk around like this because they, they kind of need to see themselves. What they're shooting is their dogs, their pets, their children's like at the soccer games and the t-ball games and stuff like that. And they need that fast footage because it's going to be shaky and it's going to be little clips of stuff that you'll put on Facebook and then never see again. <laughs> oh man. So that's Raylan. Raylan is exhausted, man. I took him on a nice long walk this morning look at that tongue that tongue is out there homie so we're gonna go ahead and go home and get some water because my guy here is super thirsty and exhausted that means he's gonna be a well-behaved dog because everyone who owns a dog knows that a well-exercised dog is a well-behaved dog <laughs> so that's a little bit of sample footage uh, from the front or rear facing camera at 1080p Using a selfie camera for short videos while on the go, handheld without a gimbal, is something I think a lot of people will actually be doing. Especially like, because I see people all the time walking up and down this bayou on uh, video calls and stuff. And even just, you know, just some uh, short vlogging, maybe some TikTok videos or something like that. So the video camera is very important on the front and the rear of the phone. Right now, you're looking at some sample footage from me just walking down the bayou. I'm walking really. Let me just... Oh, I can't can I flip it let me see if I can flip this no I can't flip it while I'm actually recording but he's on the other side there let me let's get a look at him real quick all right really your old camera man you see? <laughs> all right so that's a little bit of sample footage uh, from the selfie camera in 1080p video like I said before, the people that review phones all the time are usually coming from a high-end phone and then they kind of step down to what would be called a budget phone and kind of look at it through a skewed lens, you know, and it's just not fair to the phone. I think this is actually a good phone and I think it's a great camera for the phone. It matches everything perfectly. Where this thing really excels is battery life and performance. And that's what we should expect when we spend our hard earned pennies on a phone. Without being overly critical, I do think that OnePlus crammed a ton of value into the new N30. It's a great phone at a super budget price. And for whatever reason, if you do feel like you need more out of a phone, such as better pictures, better video quality, or better performance, or even better build materials, they do give you another option in the OnePlus 11. You got Mm, man, this is it's it's crazy how much value they're offering you because shoot, even if you bought both of these phones together, you're you're still spending under a thousand dollars, which is the standard price for the flagship of today. You know what I'm saying? So I, I just have to applaud OnePlus for keeping things on the low low for the average person who just needs a good quality phone to do their everyday life with. And you don't have to have the battery anxiety <laughs> or the performance anxiety. <laughs> Watch out there now. So I'm no expert in this kind of stuff, but what I do know is a quality phone with a lot of value when I pick one up. So y'all keep being good to each other and I'll see you when I see you.